I'm back from conference, met some interesting people over the last few days, including people that watched the videos. Lots of people come up and said, I watched your videos, they're really good, which was really nice to see. Uh, Teresa Kofi, so she's the environment minister at the moment. So she was talking today, actually got some booze because she said something about the being, uh, the, she couldn't help the, the, not the rain in Spain. Um, she couldn't help the weather in Spain, for the reason why we've got no tomatoes. That's so everyone booed because obviously that's not true. It's not Brexit, it's not climate change. It's basically people not wanting to pay enough to keep them on the shelves and there being too much risk and no profit in it. So no one has stopped, stop, everyone has stopped growing it. They did an interview with um, Sky News as well, actually. I don't know what it's going to be on because they only recorded it with a phone, which is a bit weird, which is what I'm doing now, but they didn't use a big camera. I think it was more for a written article online, perhaps. And I was explaining to them that the stuff that's got a shorter sort of like growing cycle, you're going to see the shorter to that now. But as things play out over the years, you'll start to see it in other commodities, whether that be potatoes or grain, because people just can't afford to grow at a loss anymore. So we'll see how that gets edited or whatever and put out. Met Minette last night, a little bit of that. So the NFU conference, some rather great and the good. Minette's here, what are you going to say? What's the theme of the conference? Oh my goodness, um, producing food in a challenging world, and it certainly feels quite challenging at the moment. Yeah, I miss that you work in that room. I do, yeah, yeah, it's very good to be here today. We'll be around today uh, to make sure I understand where the problems are coming from and develop policy. There we go, so everyone's here. Uh, you'll see more tomorrow. So she was obviously with the uh, with another. Uh, not a minister, but a, an employee of DEFRA. So the, it's nice that they're listening to farmers. Whether they act on it is a different thing. Um, they were going on about the shelves being empty and putting 2.4 billion into farming, which is kind of the status quo of what we've had for years to keep us propped up. But they put an extra 10 billion in because we had empty trains. I Now, quiz question today, what's more important, empty trains or empty shelves and shops? I would guess empty shelves and shops, so why can't agriculture be supported to get itself more productive and uh, up production so we don't have to import food? Because if you buy a million pounds worth, a billion pounds worth of food each year from other countries, that's a billion pound leaving the UK economy that you're never going to see again. So I think it should be done the other way around. Anyway, let's go see what the lads have been up to. The Zerion is back into the workshop. I am not sure why though. Do There's no Farmer Clive, no but Farmer Clive. Luke is here. Don't forget to follow him on YouTube. And also, Jonathan's here, and we've got an amazing video of him last night being like a self-correcting yacht. I'll show you now. It is my honour and privilege, ladies and gentlemen, to propose the Royal Toast again this evening. So please, if you are able, I would ask that you be upstanding. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, the King. Charlotte's here as well. Is your video out today? Obviously, Is it a good every one? day. Oh, it's about wood. <laughs> that wink's a bit creepy. <laughs> Gotta watch that. Just doing an interview for Sky News with Victoria at the conference. The year ahead, 12 months till we meet again, there's a lot that needs to happen. There's a lot that needs to change. And I can absolutely promise you that we will leave no stone unturned anywhere to get the results that are needed. So thank you, conference. It's been wonderful to see you. It really has. Please enjoy your lunch. Please keep in touch. And as I say every week uh, in that vlog, please take care. Take care wherever you are. Because, you know, what we said about men mental health last night and FCN, we raised a record amount of them. They do an amazing job. So keep in touch with each other. And look after yourselves. And above all else, Thank you for all your support. Yeah, he was uh, some bale of twine had got wrapped round a disc and one of them wasn't turning, so he's just unwrapped that. You can see it down there now. That's a uh, good job done now. Let's get ready for some new feet sometime. We have got some before everyone says, if you want some new feet, we've got some. Um, and then we put chicken teeth on them so they last longer. Can you see on the front? So um, but we've got a pile over here, one there and the rest are under there. So we'll put them on in the summer because it's still going in now while it's still quite damp. Don't need the, the new ones yet.
Rob and my dad are just still in the bay with double chip now, so Bob's getting a single chip from behind. And my dad's just pushing it back, fill the bay up so we've got a week's worth. And we'll probably run the chipper tomorrow or the day after and get rid of that pile again. Andrew's just putting that back in the shed now. I'm going to have a look what's wrong with this leaf blower and also do the birthday bum because it's starting to rain and if the bateman gets too wet, I'll write on it with a marker pen. Charlotte's just come back from Dad's at Saddleworth and I'm sure she's brought the Saddleworth rain with him because look at it now. It's pissing down. Anyway, for some reason this leaf blower doesn't seem to want to blow and it's not that old, so let's see what's going on. Really weird, a short birthday bumper again today. Benjamin Williams, Molly Hayes is eight, Ali Davis is 55, and Matthew Webbs is on here, and Stephen Anthony, I think it is, sorry. 26,887 pound for the air ambulance. So I reckon tomorrow, if there's a lot of birthdays, it will hit 27,000. So again, well on the way to 30 grand, amazing. Yesterday, Andrew did some fertilizer spreading and some of the wheat looks amazing. So he actually sent me a video yesterday to show you what it looks like. So I'll show you that now. Beautiful. Because I was at the conference, I promised you some cut footage that I filmed last Thursday, was it? So here's a little bit more of John Bowser's yard. And then I've got some more to come from the college and from Cheshire Farm Machinery's open day as well. It's got more JCB telly on us than a, a higher fleet. Oh, the hedge cutters as well. As he says, you can't sell from an empty shop window. So he's got one, two, five, must be five hedge cutters there. Oh, the telly handlers. Little mini telly truck. Oh, the two hedge cutters behind it. Joe's after a telly truck. Oh, there's a splashboard off of here. So I was trailer a bit straighter than ours. Just it's a silage kit actually. Yeah, a couple more hedge cutters, power harrow. Like chrome mowers in crates. I'm looking here. Load of chrome rakes. Some tires under that. Huge. Is that the same? Looks two the same. Another, no, three, another one behind it. Massive, it looks low that though. You know, if you're pulling a field off a road, you'd feel like that would kind of like hit the floor maybe. Unless it goes up and down on the axle. Does it go up and down on the axle? Oh yeah, maybe it does, yeah. Yeah, there's rams here. Yeah, it must lift up. Very low, isn't it? If you look. Not even a foot of clearance. Look at this. It's a, it's a Honda, like a buggy, but it's basically just a, a wider quad. It sounds like a quad as well. Anyway, Andrew wanted to play on it. Right, so we're in it now. It's pretty quick because it's basically a motorbike. It's just, it's very loud. And obviously runs off petrol, not diesel. Got a little baby solace here as well on fat tyres. It's like a tractor puller. All bubble wrapped. See in the air. Classic Ford in the background there. What is it, eight to six two hundred? Looks quite big. Eight two ten. There's the sister of the five eight five. Still set out wide. There's the traction engine, the steam engine. A couple of gold, the bronzy coloured valves as well.
that's about it for today thanks for watching sorry it's a short video but like i said i've been at the conference i'll see you all tomorrow